up guys, it's me, Zeeland, here today in between innings, back with another video. Today I'm doing opening day of baseball, gonna go over the games on uh, Thursday, which was April 7th, opening day for not all the teams, but for the league, and let's get right into it. I'm so hyped, I hope you are too, I'm really excited for baseball to start back, and it already has. For this video, I put on my White Sox hat and my Clayton Kershaw Dodgers jersey, because these are my two favorite teams, like I've explained before, the Dodgers are my favorite team and the White Sox are my second, Dodgers being due to growing up in California, and White Sox due to my grandpa being from there, and my dad growing up there in Chicago, and they're, uh, my grandpa's a diehard Sox fan. So yeah, just put this on for this video, but I can't wait for the season to get full steam. Really excited. So let's go over some of the games that happened on Thursday. So I think the very first game, time-wise, was Brew versus Cubs. Like, um, it was early in the morning. I remember even during like my break at school because I'm in middle school, eighth grade. And I remember the Cubs game being going on. It was like in the second inning at that point. But the Cubs end up winning five to four. Um, Ian Happ got three hits. So yeah, Cubs, they're cool too. Um, I know some like Chicago people that actually live in Chicago probably like either the Cubs or White Sox and don't like the other, but I'm cool with the Cubs. Um, because my dad's whole side of the family, his mom and dad, and that's where my grandpa, my dad's dad, that grandpa is the diehard White Sox fan. His whole family and my uh, grandma on my dad's side's family are all from like that Chicago. They're all a mix of Cubs and White Sox fans. So I'm okay with the Cubs, but I do prefer the White Sox more. Um, but yeah, the Cubs get the win, 5-4. That's cool. So Cubs start off with a win. Brewers, I do think they will have a good season, but they start off with a loss. Then we have the Kansas City Royals playing the Cleveland Guardians, their new name change after it was changed from the Cleveland Indians, which was their former name, but was changed for um, reasons on racism. Same as how Washington, they changed their name from Washington Redskins to the Washington football team. They're now the Washington Commanders, but yeah, sports trying to make a way to clearing out racism, and I dig it. It's really cool. Um, so the Royals win three to one. So, and also Bobby Witt Jr. made his debut. He uh, I think got a hit in like the eighth inning that put them ahead. Uh, so gets a really good. I and I think it was his first hit in the major leagues, and it was really good. So. Proud of him, whatever. Good job, Royals. Start the season off 1-0. Guardians start off 0-1. After that, we have the St. Louis Cardinals versus the Pittsburgh Pirates. Who do you think is going to win this game? Of course, the St. Louis Cardinals. No one would think the Pirates, one of the worst teams in the league for the past couple of years, would win this game. Um, they did get six hits, and the Cardinals only got eight. But, yeah, probably just got a lot of walks. and um, Made sure to get in base, you know, steal. So Albert Pujols, he got a long standing ovation and apparently he was really, really close to tears because this was his debut back with the team after um, starting off with the Cardinals at the beginning of his career and now finally being back with them. He played for the Cardinals, then the Angels and the Dodgers for one season. Now he's back with the Cardinals. I think he signed a one year contract and then wants to retire with the team. I respect that. I would do the same exact thing if I started my career off somewhere. I'd probably want to go back to that team for one, unless you ended on horrible terms, but I would want to go back there for one year and retire, go to the Hall of Fame as a player for that team. So Cardinals start the season off with a shutout win, 9-0. Wayne Wright gets the win. And after that, we have the New York Mets versus the Washington Nationals. Mets, I like them. They've always been one of my teams that I've kind of liked because they get a... Um, a lot of their stuff from the Dodgers, like the Dodgers when they were in Brooklyn and then they moved here. The Mets copied their colors after the Dodgers and Giants because the Giants were the New York Giants. And so New York had wanted a second team. When the uh, Mets got added as an expansion team, they took San Francisco's orange and LA's blue. So I always kind of liked the Mets. But the Mets win 5-1. Um, Jacob deGrom has, I think, been it's saying – the past three seasons has been the opening day pitcher for the last three years for the Mets, but he's injured right now. Um, I think Max Scherzer will make his debut soon, but yeah, they get the win with the guy's name is McGill. I've never heard of him, 
but yeah, good for the Mets. Start off 1-0. Nationals only run was off a Juan Soto homer, but I do think Juan Soto is going to have a really good year. So Nationals fans, be prepared for a really good year from him. Then we have the Astros versus the Angels. Uh, the Astros went to the World Series last year and lost to the Braves. Still a favorite to go far this year. They start the season off with a win. Did I just say three to one? Angels lose. Um, Shohei Otani was the starting pitcher. I think he only allowed four hits in 4.2 innings. I'm just saying this off memory because I think I checked the box score last night. Um, but he was really good on the mounds, but batting he went 0 for 4, and I don't think Mike Trout really did anything. So, Angels, I still wouldn't be too, they have an okay, good supporting cast for two of the best players in baseball, Mike Trout and Shohei Otani. So, yeah, have a lot of Angels fans that are kind of sad about that. But Astros a really good team. I wouldn't be too disappointed. And season's just starting, like that for everyone. If you lost, who cares, you're 0-1. You could win the next 15 games straight, be 15, whatever. And final game of the day was Padres versus Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks win 4-2. to two. Kind of surprising. Padres are a good team. They looked really good last year in time until kind of falling off at the end of the season, having almost the same exact record of the Angels who weren't doing too good. Mike Trout was out almost all year. Um, so I was kind of surprised that the Padres lost this one and start the season off with a loss. Um, and the Diamondbacks have always been kind of one of the worst teams in the last couple of years. But they do, even while only getting three hits, they do end up winning the game. It's off. It's saying it was a. It looks like it was a three. Three run walk off home run in the bottom of the ninth for the Diamondbacks. Let me see. Seth Beer's game winning three run home run in the bottom of the ninth inning had even landed. Well, like it took a lot, but yeah. Anyway, walk off a three run homer, so they were down two to one. That's kind of crazy. So I guess the Padres were winning most of the game, but then the. Uh, Diamondbacks caught up. I'll look at some of the games that have ended today. They're still going on right now. Currently, at the time of this video, the Nets and Nationals are playing, and they're tied 3-3. Three and three. Uh, The Rangers and Blue Jays are tied in the bottom of the third. Rangers winning 6-0. Surprising. Kind of. I mean, I like the Rangers. Like I said, they're tied for second with the White Sox, are my favorite teams, because I'm from um, Dallas. I was born there. So, but... We've always kind of been a bad team, so surprised about that. Mid of the fourth, Braves winning 7-0 against the Reds. Okay, so then here's some of the games that ended. In 11 innings, the Yankees won 6-5. Nine, both had nine hits, but the Red Sox had two errors, so Yankees start the season off with a win. Then we have the White Sox played the Tigers. Oh, I didn't see this. I didn't see this yet. I guess we lost... Four to five to the Tigers. Um, both teams got eight hits. Uh, dang. Well, that's disappointing. At least one of my teams did, and I'll get to the Dodgers in a second, but really wanted the White Sox to win first game of the season two, but they lost 5-4. And Gregory Soto got the win for the Tigers. Then we had the Phillies and the Athletics. The Phillies won 9-5. to five. Aaron Nola was the starting pitcher for the Phillies. He got the win. Rays and Orioles, Rays won 2-1, to one. and Wander Franco had three hits, and he's looking really, really good. Excited about Randy Frank, Wander Franco, and Randy Rosarena is really good too, so duo to be reckoned with. The Rangers are going to be really good this year. Uh, Mariners versus Twins, Tw Mariners won 2-1. Two to one. Giants, Marlins in 10 innings, Giants won 6-5. And that was a walk-off double with two outs. That's cool. The games that haven't happened yet is at 6.38 p.m. Eastern, uh, 6.38 p.m. Pacific time. The Ashers play the Angels. Right now I'm recording this at 5.45, so that's in less than an hour. And then at 6.40, the Padres play the Diamondbacks. A game that was postponed was the Brewers and Cubs. I'm assuming that's because of weather reasons in Chicago. Yeah, there's always a lot of stuff happening there, so I wouldn't be too surprised. And finally, Dodgers versus Rockies. My Dodgers get the win to start off the season. We won five to three. Freeman reached base three times, scored in his debut. I think it was off a wild pitch. I was, um, what's it called? I was listening to it uh, during break or whatever at school at some points in my AirPod and during lunch and I had, and I was listening to the um, game cast because I couldn't watch the game 
You're not allowed to be on your phone. Like, they don't care if you have your AirPod in and if you're listening to music. So I was just listening to the game and I heard there was a wild pitch way over his head, hit the fence, and um, what's it called? Freeman scored. So Walker Buehler gets the win. Uh, save Craig Kimball, our new pitcher that we got from the White Sox. So my two favorite teams trade in. Uh, players that we gave him, AJ Pollock, and then they gave the Dodgers Craig Kimball. So he gets the save. Really excited about that, that the Dodgers started the season off with a win, and I'm sure we're going to win tomorrow. Uh, no offense to the Rockies. Not doing, like, not that good of a team yet. They do have Chris Bryant, so shouldn't underestimate them. Um, and our probable pitcher for tomorrow is Tony Gonsolin. I think we can definitely get that win. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Of course, more of these videos are going to be MLB related in the next couple days. I just, I can't do too much when there's games every single day. I'm not going to make one of these doing like every game, whatever recap, but, um, I will try to do where I'm doing more. I'll start doing team reviews. I might just actually just record one right now. And then I'll start off with like the Dodgers and then I'll do, um, I'll do like every two weeks the new standings because other than that it's too much i'm gonna i'll do over and underrated have some friends on do top uh, opinions on what's all that's gonna happen but yeah that's it for today thanks for watching if you have any mlb video ideas for me please let me know you will get some more nba ones in the days coming because regular season about to end playoffs will come so you'll get the playoff round reviews probably like five more NBA videos and then the season will be over and it will be all MLB until football starts in August. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Peace.